Hey, what is good? What is happening, everybody? It's your boy Connor, your primitive AK here, back with another video for you guys today. We're going to be showcasing another new setting inside of Modern Warfare 2 that a lot of people are probably not paying attention to. I did cover this briefly in one of my settings videos, but some people may have missed that video. If you haven't seen my full settings guide, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I have a full playlist of all Modern Warfare 2 videos leading up to release so you guys know exactly what to do when the game fully comes out and what to change. But today we're going to be covering a new setting that is known as the Aim Assist feature. This are, there are a lot of aim assist features in this game that a lot of casual players or new players are not aware of and they just sort of leave their settings on default when these settings are actually meant to help tailor your own personal play style and actually help you out the game. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at these settings here. Uh, if you go over to your settings tab to access this, you're going to hit your options menu on your PS5 controller or whatever it is on PC or Xbox and you're going to head, want to head, up, head over to the controller tab and then you're going to want to make sure you type R1 or press R1 to go over to your advanced tab in controller settings and then you're going to want to access the aim assist type settings now going over the drop down menu when you hit x you notice there are three different or four different aim assist settings one is the default precision focusing and black ops now for those that have played Modern Warfare 2019 or any previous cod in general some of these settings may be familiar to you like focusing and precision have always been in the last three call of duties for those that remember uh default obviously is the previous modern warfare setting so for those that like the modern warfare aim assist you'll pretty much just leave this on default. However, what people don't realize is that there's actually a newer setting known as Black Ops Aim Assist, uh, which actually gives you more aim assist. Yes, you heard that properly. This actually gives you more aim assist than the default Modern Warfare aim assist settings. And the reason for that is because for those that play Black Ops, uh, the Black Ops titles actually had a stronger aim assist slowdown on the target and far much better aim assist rotation compared to the Modern Warfare titles. Modern Warfare had aim assist slowdown, but it was nowhere near as strong as the Black Ops uh, aim assist settings. Now, for those that are wondering, is this the Black Ops 2 aim assist? Is this Black Ops 3? Is this Black Ops 4 aim assist? This is actually Black Ops Cold. Cold War uh, aim assist settings and for those that play Cold War, Cold War actually had a very strong aim assist slowdown especially at longer ranges so personally you want to make sure that you're using this setting here now, focusing does have strong aim assist slowdown as well as precision, but the reason why you don't want to use any of these settings is because these create a strong aim assist bubble on your target. What I mean by bubble is that let's say let's say this hand is your target, right? Let's say this is your target at long range. What this aim assist does, it creates a small bubble around your target. So what actually ends up happening is, let's say the aim assist kicks in, you'll end up aiming far to the right of your target rather than the actual target itself. And if you're not a very accurate player, or even if you are an accurate player this can cause your aim assist to be dragging onto the target next to it rather than actually on it so that's precisely why i don't use precision or focusing aim assist these aim assist settings are built more for newer players that can't even get on target at all if you're an accurate player and you can actually get on target without any issues i would personally not use any of these two Rather, I would use either default or black ops settings. Uh, I prefer actually, I've been messing around with default setting. Uh, I did try black ops setting as well, which was very nice, but I felt it was a little too easy. So that's why I switched off and went to default. Uh, so do bear in mind, these two are probably the best options that you want to go with, but to each their own, give these settings a shot. But like I said, for those that are newer to the game, black ops aim assist does give you more aim assist on the game. And it is very, very easy to use. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Anyways, just a short little tutorial on some of the aim assist settings like i said i have a full settings guide on my channel if you would like to go ahead and check that out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video be sure to leave a like as it does give me more motivation to make more videos for you guys and i appreciate all the love and support on the channel recently hopefully you guys do enjoy the beta and we'll catch you guys in the next video peace out fellas